Hi there, this is Teresa from Teresa's Crochet Shop. And in this video, I'm gonna show several different ways to sew crocheted heads to crocheted bodies. There are several different ways that you will do this. So in this video, I'm gonna show how to sew an open head to an open body, a closed head to a closed body, a head and body of different colors without seeing your stitches, and then a closed head to an open body. Let's get started with the easiest of these. The easiest type of head and body to sew together is when you have an open head and an open body and they have the same number of stitches around. This bat's head ends with 12 stitches around and the body ends with 12 stitches around, so I can just sew them directly together. So to do that, I insert my needle under the top two loops of any stitch on the head and then under a stitch on the body and pull tight. and continue all the way around the head and body until I have sewed all 12 stitches directly together. Before I finish sewing an open body to an open head, I always check to see if I need a little bit more stuffing before I finish sewing them together. This makes sure that the neck part in between the head and body is firm and not floppy. Now I can finish sewing them together. Now to secure this seam, I'm gonna do a knot on my last stitch and weave the end inside the body. And you can see that the head and body are now attached. The next type of head and body I'm going to be sewing together is also an open body to an open head, but they're of different colors. So if you were to sew this directly to that, if you were to sew this dark brown body to this tan head, you would see those dark brown stitches on the head and it just doesn't look very neat. So here's how you can sew them together so that you do not see your stitches. Okay, when you insert your needle into the head, instead of going under the top two loops of the stitch, you're gonna go behind the post of the stitch on the head, and then you're gonna go behind the post of the stitch on the body. And again, behind the post of the stitch on the head, and behind the post of the stitch on the body and continue around in this way and you'll see how invisible your stitches are. Now that I've finished sewing all the way around, if you look at this seam, because of sewing in that way, you can't see your dark brown stitches, and it's a nice, neat seam. The next type of head and body that I'm gonna sew together is an open body to a closed head. And since there's not an open seam on this head, I'm just gonna sew the body onto the bottom of the head. So once I find the correct position, I'm just gonna insert my needle into a stitch on the head for where I want the body and head to meet. And then in a stitch on the body and a stitch on the head. A stitch on the body and a stitch on the head. Double check the position. If it looks good, keep sewing. It's so important to keep checking the position of the head and body as you sew them together.
So here's that finished head and body sewn together. The last type of head and body I'll be sewing together is a closed head to a closed body. And for this, you might have had a yarn tail left over, but I've gone ahead and cut a new yarn tail so that I know I have plenty of length here. And I knotted one end, which will weave inside the body later. Now for this, you're going to position them where you want them, the head onto the body. And you could pin the head to the body, but I've just found that the pins are not strong enough to hold this seam to the body. So my biggest recommendation is to sew one stitch, check the placement, sew a second stitch, check the placement, and pull those stitches out if needed, if they're not in the right spot. So I'm going to insert this anywhere into the body and out where I need it on the top. And then I'm going to sew one stitch. Now that I have this one stitch, I'm going to check from all angles and make sure I like that position. I'm just going to go on along down this round, sewing a stitch on the body and a stitch on the head and pulling tight. Time to double check again that I like this position for the head and body. And so far it looks good. Now that the bottom of the head is attached to the top of the body, I'm going to go along the sides here. I'm going to secure this final stitch with a knot and then weave my end through the body and I'm going to bring it out right here to where this knotted end was. And now I'm going to tie that beginning end and that ending tail together in a knot. And this just makes me feel better about that strand not working its way out over time. Then I will thread that and pull it inside the body. So there are the several different ways that I sew heads and bodies together. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below and I'd love to help. Thanks for watching. Happy crocheting!